to live on dread. My mind is a fucking scorpion orgy, coerced into cartwheel by lack of sleep. Sleezes and dealers for days grow. Be afraid, be very, very afraid, on a stroke of ten in London becomes a flash mob made of malevolent exes. Upskirting clerks in novelty ties, gym bunnies picking the Disney princess that best represent them. It's Friday night and the gang's all here and you should make peace with your god. On the tram to New Addington, Dickwick contingents are listing their colony motto, Fontenelle softened by a politician's kiss. Quite pride, quite power, the flower of English manhood. Baby doll dresses are heading for mass karaoke with extra prosecco. To chicken wing and bingo hall or slumped on a night bus to nowhere a cut price penal hell no traveller returns from. Be afraid, be very, very afraid. Fear is a chemical fetish here, an echo, a head rush, an art dread of numbers, a rusty nail and a taboo lust. My mind is a clock with a fire gilded face. Attention's golden deficit is strained, is stretched, has been beset by the devil in diverse shapes and worse. The man who grabs up my pussy in parking garages, race hate and face ache and gollywog jam. I don't want to go back. <gasps> Moon cows in shell suits peddling cretin as kitty fuck. The National Front only on surely brutalist stab do twisting my arm till it cracks. I fear the grotesque English reel, perturbed in my coarse degenerate bones. On the news as an April fool made flesh, competitive error, compulsive lie, pestilence and penetration, Hannah barbarians all. There's a head wound like a rooster's comb, middle class courtesan stalled in a motorcade, wet links of shit falling out of a dog. A flick knife with my name on it. I polished my mind like a five-pointed star and lived inside my most absolute name in a vegan extremist kingdom of one. A bare heart season clutching my keys. Social media is a tedious monologue of self-care life coach mantra spastic at yoga on exceptional text event where no one is safe. Friday night, and police are battening down their collective brain death, coming for us, breathing through their mouths. I live within this poem like some straight edge water mitty, indicate my fussy heart in airless rooms where daylight is entangled or revised. Poetry is a sound ear, whispered into service. We're working out our mutual purpose, dread and I, most conducive do. What is missing is absent on purpose, is the regular hole in a Chinese coin. Wild talents. There is no man who is without the hyena element in his composition, and there is no hyena that is not at least rudimentarily human. Charles Hoyt Fort. On the day of your death, I became a striped hyena. Hysteria's lamp technician, cursorial man eater, witch's mound, I ran. Feeliform punk with my mane of stale thistles over Primrose Hill across Black Heath to gnaw the shin bones of monuments. Dragging my afflicted eye through the cagey manners of Fraser's and Richardson's each lesser prey. London's twitchy slang bloomed under me. I was not afraid. Animal abandoned to its instincts, twisting down, slouching down the twisting venal steps to lift the yeast of my misdeeds. I tore your bleakest manner into strips, left penance of its dark meat snagged on the late Victorian railings. In cemeteries I scorned inscriptions, wiped my hazy scent all over. I was the fur atlas of my loss, and the yellow grass grew sharp where it rubbed on me. Your heart's vomit. Darling with the soul of a park, weaving the obstinate dusk into silent film. Starry cuss, I did not sleep, but lay, panting on a raft of trash. The serial bedwetters' flammable mattress, Saturday magazine still in their cellophane, empire mine. My cattle in the full flag of this failed state flea bit. The day after your death, when they found me, hooks rake white at the road's white middle. I think I was running, I think I'd been dreaming, that I was the starkest hound of my spirit, gargoyle against this human bruise. Sibua. Is my heritage to me like a hyena's lair? Go assemble all the wild beasts and bring them to devour. Jeremiah 12, 9, you may notice there is a theme. Um, ish. Thus, circumstance has compelled me to tell you 
you know jack shit about hyenas here. This, for instance. Hyena is not an animal, but an edge. Where grief has its house, her wetted territories sing. The opposite of pleasure is not pain. Hyena does not dig the dead from their graves, but where bodies meet the sun halfway, she is the war's mute treasurer. She has carried away our loss in moist parcels with an extremity of tenderness. Draw around a sleeping dog with chalk, turn away and count ten. Hyena will rise, patroness of feral misgivings. Her several habitats are as follows Lebanon, Versailles, the Falls Road, on her oak after a storm. That which you call her pelt, her overalls. That which you call her mane, her crown. Toppany crones prefer the sleek indifference of felines. Hyena is her own raving spectrum, mascot of ruder perversions. It is a militant witch indeed who rides the long night into raw shack nose buried in her sweating neck. In the mid-1970s, radical lesbian separatists hoisted her face like a flag over pool halls and dive bars. In the late 1990s, her loping form was cited in a comic spitting tale. It is said that if you see a hyena in your dreams, you will die a violent death. This is true. However, hyena is not harbinger, but prophet. Some people simply will not be told. In Guadalupe, her image appeared within a black mission fig, and similar visions have been reported in the South Hebron Hills near Sosia. To find the image of hyena in a piece of fruit is to be bought not luck, but fortitude. Within the troublant ecologies of loss, hyena is the undisputed mater lacrimarum, or third mother. Her signature manoeuvre is a plunge, yeah. sharp silhouetted corsair crossing any bucking sea. The night revolves around her, and didn't I tell you that all hyenas are female, that is all hyenas are pirates. Hyena, our funerary renegade, is a poltergeist in a hair shirt. Where taxonomists say the hyena is closer to the cat than the dog, it is our stated position that hyena is closer to a baby grand piano, or an acme safe in free fall, or a typewriter thrown from a hotel window. And dearest, hyena is nearly extinct. To become a hyena is to live without captains or champions, to tarry packless in dangerous places, sectarian wreck grounds, hospital corridors. Hyenas love well, but not often. There's a fine line between woo and woe, what you do to impress you a million pitchy costumes. Hyenas are prized for the aphrodisiac qualities of their hindsight. Men have been grinding their bones to powder for centuries, poor fools. Hyena's power is not in her marrow, but in the near miraculous knack of her cherishing. She has been known to sit vigil for 800 years. Hyenas have no proverbs, only poetry. That which you cruelly describe as howling is, in point of fact, the end of a song you persist in mishearing. Blatant wassail, karaoke. Her sorrow is ground like a coarse blue lens. I'm going to read one more and then I'm going to fuck off. <laughs> Yeah. In the dream, I am the vampire. In the dream, our roles are reversed and I am undead. In a locked room, vaguely labouring for days of debauch and autonomy, autonomy and debauch, my skin, a pungent ultimatum, rays against the sun. It cuts me like a soldier's oath. Yes, in the dream, I am the last great self-amputating paddy dosser at the gates of dawn, and I fall to solvent pondering my senses fused with glue, the brain dreary and jails. I am held up with guilt, like a house held up with ivy. My entire estate is my betrayal. Who have I not fucked over in my day, which is all days and forever? Cutthroat and blood's decay is clara and scab. In the dream, our roles are reversed, and I am you. I've learned to spursions, curse, water torture, scorns poured, I've paid effusions due. Drowning is an art, I can't breathe. Sucker, sucker, never sated, seldom sued. My nights are sexless frenzy. Motel remorse, morose, a line chopped out in moss and dot, dot, dash against the off-white tiles. A Bible's underlining some fire and brimstone verse inscribed against my psyching out. Vampire, 
with a hand dog pilgrim's limp take up my brooding tools bottle lighter pipe a silver dial a sovereign ring fading mortifications this photo space i fold to anonymity again and again split the locket with one razor nail the hair that stuffs its mouth has lost its scent Thanks.